Listen to me, O coastlands, and give attention, you peoples from afar. The Lord called me from the womb, from the body of my mother. He named my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. Good Tuesday morning. This passage from Isaiah is an amazingly human picture of Jesus. So often we focus on Jesus as God, his power, his holiness, his goodness, the way he provides for us. But here we have Jesus in his own words telling us what it was like to live his life as a man, a servant of God. And what does he show us? He faces the same sort of conflict we face. God the Father has called Jesus to do a particular job, to bring the people of the world back to him. And Jesus knows this. He, he mentions how God named him when he was conceived in Mary's womb, how God prepared him like a weapon to be used against the powers of evil. And yet, Jesus knows the same feelings we have. Stress, fear, depression. All his hard work, all the healing and teaching and traveling and arguing and... Has any of it done any good? Like any man, he puts his trust in God and leans on God for strength. The incarnate Son of God is not ashamed to be a believer. He's our model as a believer. And the Father says to him, it's not enough for you to be the Savior of Israel alone. I will give you as a light for the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. And Jesus counts it an honor that the Father has trusted him to save all through his own suffering, death, and resurrection. I'm grateful for this look at Jesus' humanity, to come close to his feelings and struggles as a man, as well as his power and glory as God. This human, divine Jesus is our Savior. Thanks be to God. Lord Jesus, even though you are Almighty God, it couldn't have been easy for you to do what you did for us. Heavenly Father, thank you for your perfect plan of redemption and that by grace you gave your Son, the Lord Jesus, to be Israel's suffering servant and eternal King. Thank you that you chose me to be part of the body of Christ so that in him I might show forth the praises of him who's called me out of darkness into his marvelous light. Praise be to the holy name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, in whose name I pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.